Hi, this is me, and this is me 10 minutes later. No, I didn't do the surgery, it's just a motion capture. Done in the house with food stamps budget. No suit, no camera, completely free. Just this footage with the acting taken with a phone from one angle. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a decent cutscene in Blender in 10 minutes, using your own footage or any clip you find online. Also stick around till the end to see the full cutscene with voice acting. If you don't wanna use your own footage, you can find the footage of a random person, but make sure for Whole body is in the frame otherwise it's gonna get tricky we're gonna make our own animation so firstly we need a phone or a camera then we gotta decide how many characters we have in the cutscene i for example have two characters so i need to record two videos of myself my scenario is this guy is the commander he's mad because this guy was caught gooning in the field so he yells at him pretty intense plot as you can see it's better to take all the footage of both characters in a 30 second clip because that's the limit for the free version Version. Then go to this website right here and log in. You can register with your email or log in with Google, doesn't matter. In the upload your video section, you can see the example video on the left or use the local video on the right. We have our own videos, so let's click on local video. Find your video and click on it and let it analyze. It might take a few seconds, not long. After it was finished analyzing, we need to assign a format to it from the right. In the output format, we got a normal girl and boy. You can grab any of them, drop it on the actor, and after we're done, it will be exported as that format. We also got a lot of other options, like Mixamo and Unreal. We're gonna go for Mixamo, cause it's really accessible and also compatible with everything from Adobe Mixamo website. So let's grab the Mixamo and drop it on our actor. As you can see, our actor is in a blue rectangle, which means the app recognize our actor. After you dropped it on the actor, click on next. After you clicked on next, you will see a pop-up where you can customize a lot of stuff. Title doesn't matter. In the function, full body is already selected and that's what we want. If you say you have a video with only the upper part of the body visible, you can deselect the full body and select the upper body instead. We want the hands to be animated too, so make sure you enable hands too. But if you want to animate the hands yourself and don't want any keyframes on it, disable it and in the first keyframe of the animation you can leave it as it is but if you want to assign a character to it or retarget any other rigs to this i recommend selecting the t pose or a pose i happen to have a a pose character so a pose it is in the last two we ain't got much choice so let's click on generate now after that, it will go in the line. Then you're gonna pretend you're in a McDonald's drive-thru. You're gonna have to let them cook. And I promise you, they will cook. It will usually take around 10 minutes to finish it, but it's definitely worth it. I'm seeing my groin in the thumbnail. That means it's finished cooking and we can click on it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Now look at this thing. It fully motion captured every single movement of my body, even the fingers. Crazy to think achieving half of this was impossible a few years ago. You would have needed an expensive suit and bunch of high quality cameras all around the room to achieve this. Now you're doing it in the house with zero budget and basically no equipment. To show you how powerful this tool actually is, in this scene my right arm is behind my body and it's not visible from this angle. But this f***ing thing guesses the position of the arm and as you can see, the results is almost flawless. Click on the button on the bottom right corner to download the animations. Now you need a character to assign the animation to. If you have your own character, you can run it through Mixamo and it would be compatible right away. But Mixamo itself has a lot of characters we can choose from. You can choose any of them that suit your scene. Click on download and in the pop-up menu, don't change a thing, just download. Back in Blender, click on file, import and import as FBX. Find the animation you just downloaded and import it in and there we have it full animation inside blender now let's bring the character from mixamo same procedure import as fpx and select the character you just downloaded select the skeleton from the animation we just imported and in the timeline in the bottom copy it if you don't have the timeline you can drag out a new window and set it to timeline from here now select the rig of the character you just downloaded and when you're in frame zero press ctrl v to paste those animations here and since we exported our animation as mixamo format we don't have to do anything animation works flawlessly let's hide the default character so we can see ours better and there we go and this is me cursing but now i'm a female assassin doing the cursing which is way cooler i guess and as you can recall we recorded two animations in one because we had two characters in the scene so let's divide them when the rig is selected 
make the timeline bigger so we can see the keyframes better. Maybe zoom in a bit. Find the keyframe where the second animation is starting. Shift D to duplicate and place it somewhere else. Now that we know where the second animation is starting, we can simply just select those parts and press X to delete it. Then when the timeline stays in the same place, we can select the first rig and select everything before that point in the timeline, then delete all of them. Press A to select the remaining, then press G and move them to the beginning of the timeline. Okay, now we have the ragey one on the left and embarrassed one on the right. We need to match the animations now. Press A to select the remaining keyframes and press G then move them to the frame 0. Now it's matched. We just have to change the rotation of the character and their position to match it with the scene. Let me add some lights and a ground so we can see what's going on. The two characters look exactly the same, so I took off a hoodie of one of them. Now we need to place our cameras. First camera goes somewhere like this. You can place it anywhere you want. Then increase the focal length so we can have a more professional looking camera and a nicer bokeh in the background. Duplicate the camera and place it somewhere else. Then the last one would be a CCTV camera, so let's place it here. You can use an MT for the DOF. I added a slight movement to the camera to make it more natural. Then in the graph editor, added a noise modifier to XYZ rotation to add that handheld camera effect. There are some issues in the chest area where the hands go through the body. We just have to delete those keyframes and manually adjust the hand. Then make a keyframe at those frames. Okay, now we need a scene to go along with it. I found this parking lot scene for free in Blender Kit. If you have the Blender Kit add-on, you can simply copy any link from the website into the text bar right here to download the scene. You can also search for the scene inside the add-on too, but the website is easier. After it was downloaded, you can click on OK and it will switch to the new scene. But make sure to save the current file before clicking on OK. Once we're in the new scene, save it somewhere else as a new file. Now we can go to file, append, find our character file that we were working on, and in the collection, import all of the things we made into this scene. I moved the scene instead of the character so we don't mess up the camera or animation. I like the spot. Now let's do the camera cuts. When your first camera is selected, move your mouse over to the thumbnail. And when you're on first frame, Ctrl B to assign the camera to this frame. Then move to the frame where you want to cut to the new angle. Select the second camera and press Ctrl B on the timeline. Then again move to the next frame you want to cut the camera. And obviously select the last camera and Ctrl B again on the timeline. Now that we have all the angles in our animation, let's move on to the compositing. Firstly, render your scene at a frame. Doesn't matter which one. It's only for compositing preview. Switch the texture paint tab, then click on texture properties to activate it, cause sometimes it doesn't show up. This node came with the scene, so if you don't have it, don't worry, it's just a vignette. Shift A and add a texture node, then click on new. From here, switch the distorted noise. Ctrl Shift click on the texture node so we can see it. Scale up this number to unstretch it. Add a mix color node and drop it here and connect the texture to it. Switch the overlay and decrease the factor. So it's just a subtle noise. I set the end frame at 160, right at the beginning of the third camera, because I want to give a different composition to the third camera. Decrease the max sample and render the animation. For the last one, since it's a CCTV camera, let's go to compositing and add a lens distortion node. Increase the distortion to get that camera footage effect. To give it a camera UI, we just have to add a mix color, but drop it after the distortion. Add an image texture and open up a camera UI image. You can find it on Google or make it yourself. It's really easy. But this time switch to screen so the black parts gets removed and render the animation. I recorded myself saying the lines and turned my voice into a female voice using AI. And after two the voice to match it with the parking lot environment, this is what I ended up with. Do you realize what you did back there? You f***ed us over with your stupidity. They're counting on us and you don't give it. Hope you guys found it useful. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my Gumroad and Patreon for real-time process videos and tutorials. Also the cool add-ons I made for character design. Link in the description. See you next time. Peace.